Okay, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a simple algorithm. Now, I've already used this and I've set up something, uh, uh, set up a database already, or a table, sorry, uh, which includes uh, student name, age, and budget. And our algorithm we want to use is going to find out whether that student is old enough to purchase a, uh, a game like Call of Duty, so if they're 18 or not. Now, the reason we use algorithms is they're like a, a set of steps so that we can test something rather than having to test them individually one by one, and it's a quicker way of doing the code. And it's also, uh, it, there have to be three things you remember, and it's like a recipe of instructions. So it has to be unambiguous, so there needs to be one way of doing it. It needs to be executing so that the computer can carry out each of the steps, and they need to make sure that it terminates at the end. Now, I've already set up my students in my table. I'll just show you here. I've got my student age and budget and their name. And I've also added the students in already. Now, if I go back to the main code, I've removed it out because I don't need it. Now, what I'm going to do is set up my algorithm for actually testing each student. So, if I add a new action in, uh, I'm going to call it age algorithm just to keep things nice and simple and what I need to do is for each student in the table where true I want to test whether the student is old enough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the student's age so uh, if I go to Var, so I'm going to call the student name. You can use variables here. Uh, equals student, student name, get. All right, I'm going to get another one. Var, student age. Like I said, you can use variables here. Student, student age, get. And another one, which I might not use, but student budget equals student student budget get so what I've done is I've got each of these values now to do my algorithm I need to test it first so I'm going to say if if student age is greater than or equal to 18 then what I can say is you are old enough to purchase the game. Okay, now I don't want to post that to the wall just yet. I'm going to concatenate that with the student's name. So what I can do is concatenate that, delete that, and put the student's name in there. All right, if they're not old enough, oh, make sure I post that to the wall. If they're not old enough, I'm going to say it. So I'm going to give the student's name. So I'm going to say, you're not old enough to purchase this game. And again, I'm going to concatenate it with the student's name. And if I wanted to, I could actually concatenate the age of the person as well. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to post it to the wall so you can see the first step of this. So if I run this, let me just call on the code, the age algorithm. So if I run this, you're old enough to purchase, you're old enough, Jennifer's not old enough, okay? And what I can do is, if I go to my algorithm, I'm going to put a space in between this, okay? In fact, what I'm going to do is post that age within that as well. So let's concatenate that. Let's get rid of that. Then concatenate that age as well. String. And then I'm going to post it to the wall. Uh, I'm going to include their age just so you can see it's working here. Let's get rid of post the wall. I'm going to concatenate that again with the student age to string and post it to the wall. 
So now when I run this, you can see their ages. So 29, you're old enough. 18, you're old enough. 17, you're not old enough. Uh, but maybe I want to continue to extend my algorithm. I want to actually detect whether they're within budget as well. So what I can do is if student is greater than or equal to 18, I can remove this. I can say that they're old enough. What I can do is do another, so let's just if statement here, so let's just get rid of that. If student budget is greater than or equal to 40, then I can say quite simply, you can purchase this game. I'm going to put their name in, concatenate their name, okay, and post it to the wall. But what I can also say is, if they haven't, if it is not greater than or equal to 40, they haven't got enough money in their budget for the game. So I can say here, else you do not have enough money to purchase the game. And I can put their name at the end of it. Let's go down to that to purchase the game. I'm going to concatenate that, which means join. Concatenate that with the student's name and post it to the wall. Alright, so now you should be able to see those that are old enough and have money and those that don't have enough money. So watch. So Marianne obviously has enough in her budget. Stephanie is obviously old enough. You're not old enough. Uh, but Raymond can purchase the game because he's got enough in his budget as well. So it's a set of instructions to test something in order. Now if you refer to the PowerPoint, you'll be able to understand from the very, very beginning of how an algorithm works. But This is just a simple age algorithm. You can see how I've added in extra ones. Now what I'm going to do so that you can try this out or test it with your students is publish this as a game algorithm. And you'll be able to search for this on Touch Develop and you can play around with it as well. Uh, so that's just the basics, a simple algorithm that tests whether somebody is old enough to buy a game and it goes through each record in a table. So that table's got five records. So that's where I've called on the script. That's how I've added in each of the records. So I've used an ask string and added the row in. And this is my algorithm. Okay, I hope that's been useful. Download the PowerPoint accompanying this and you should be able to follow a simple algorithm.